slowing the water on your land. Here is a picture of some new erosion. When I say new, this erosion began soon after the introduction of hooved animals to Australia. The hooved animals caused compaction on the land and then the fast flowing water due to lack of ve vegetation has caused the erosion to happen. We need to slow the flow of water over our land to rehydrate it. This property owner has done some clearing, but they've put their undergrowth and scrub into all of the gullies along the side of the hill. These are also known as leaky weirs. They're not dams, they're not there to hold the water back permanently. They're there to slow the flow of the water down the property. This is a swale, also known as a level contour. It has caught the water from coming down the hillside and this acts similar to a dam where it does hold the water back but it does slowly leak into the paddock below creating greener grass for a longer period of time. This property owner has pushed the scrub and undergrowth into the gully which is also on the downside of the slope. So the water flowing through that gully and flowing from the top side of the property will be slowed down enough for it to soak into the land for a bit longer than it usually would have. This is often seen along roadworks and can be seen as bales of hay, sandbags and often the green uh, shade cloth mesh. It's all used to slow the flow of the water, keep the debris from going into the local creeks and rivers and also to avoid the actual roadways being washed out on the side. This is an experiment of a mini swale on a very small gully where I have road runoff. It, it was only small but it was effective for what it was built to do. You can see the bits floating that are getting filtered through the hay and the water's coming out very slowly on the low side. In Africa, where it's much, much drier than here, they use lots of local resources. So this one is what, what they call stone lines. The stones are usually taken from the local area and then put on the contour, level contour across the landscape. So it will slow the flow of the water down, filter through to the next row, slow it down again, filter it through and slow it down. The bottom right hand picture is the difference in that same landscape in about 12 to 18 months. Gabions are rocks that are placed in wire cages. They're often used to rectify erosion on creek banks and river banks. They can be used to slow the flow of water as they are here. Uh, they can also be used in gullies on roadside roadworks and as features in your garden. They actually don't stop the flow of water. They aren't a dam. The water can flow through the rocks, but it is slowed down drastically. These are called Xi planting pits. They're hand dug, approximately 30 centimetres across. This is a crop situation in Africa. They've used one seed and one handful of manure in each planting pit. The purpose of the pit is to capture any kind of runoff, even if it's only a very, very small amount and directed to the bottom of the pit. But also the, the idea of breaking up the top of the soil and the crust on the soil helps the water to soak in much quicker. Here is another picture of some new erosion. So after seeing the previous slides, how would you fix this? Well, leaky weirs would be the most effective. You still want the water to flow, but you just want it to slow down. And if the leaky weir is very effective, the water would probably overflow from that gully into the surrounding landscape and rehydrate the, the soil.